Hi guys, and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. Today I am prepping my classroom for Christmas by making some heavily scented gingerbread Play-Doh. I have doubled this recipe, so you can just half it. I've got four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add a cup of salt. Hopefully I have enough. So you only need a half a cup, of course, two cups of flour for one um, family size amount. I am going to be doing four tablespoons of cream of tartar. This helps the dough be stretchy. This helps the dough stretch. Sometimes I forget to start at the beginning. What I meant to say is, next add two, maybe even three tablespoons of cinnamon. I think. And I just get the cheap uh, cinnamon from Aldi, or I like to go to the Asian market. Asian markets have really um, cheap cinnamon. And really, their spices are really comparable. And fresh. I also like to get my produce from an Asian market as well. One, two, three. I'm gonna do three, because I want it to be, smell real good. Two tablespoons of ginger. Oh, come on. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of nutmeg. All right. Those are all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna give them a little toss with my fingers. Smells delicious already. Make sure I fully incorporate that cinnamon and the spices. The uh, natural color of this, because the cinnamon will be kind of a sandy color anyway, so it kind of looks like gingerbread. This is also a no-bake recipe, because I don't have time for that. Okay, then four tablespoons of oil. Two, three, four. And last but not least, two cups of boiling water. Oh no! I'm just short of the two cups. Okay, I've got some more water going just in case I need it. And then you just stir, stir, stir. I'll start with a spoon till the water cools down enough. And I'll mix by hand. Oh, it smells, it smells like gingerbread. Delicious. You can't be afraid to get messy as a preschool teacher. So you'll fully incorporate this. It's very hot. My goal as a preschool teacher is to always try and think about our five senses while we're doing an activity and try to incorporate as many of those senses as possible. Play-Doh is a wonderful tool. It's great at building up those fine motor skills. It's a precursor to writing. Oftentimes, teachers wanna to try to stick writing utensils in young hands that are not developed and ready for writing utensils. Play-Doh is the perfect tool to um, gain the, the hand strength you need in order to write. So it's a great, I tell parents, you need to be doing Play-Doh at home. And this Play-Doh smells delicious. Now you can add a few drops of glycerin to make it a little shinier, but I kind of like the rustic look because I want the kids to pretend like they're making gingerbread cookies. I'm going to give them a bunch of holiday cutters and stampers and rolling pins. The favorite tool is always the rolling pins and um, scissors or little Play-Doh knives. Always a favorite when playing with Play-Doh. Perfect, I'm gonna put this in an airtight container, take it up to school, let you see how we set it up for the classroom. 
As you can already see, the Play-Doh has dried out a little. All it takes is a little bit of hot water, a half a cup at most, to reinvigorate the Play-Doh. You can see that we have trays there with our little presses and things and knives. Uh, that helps keep the mess down and it also indicates how many kids are allowed to sit and play with Play-Doh. Otherwise, there's fighting and arguing and things like that. It still smells great and I really recommend it. It will be an easy one to do at home too. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels. And as always, don't forget to celebrate today.